Okay, um, to escape from Kesegatame, when they have a hold of your arm, getting your arm free is going to be really difficult. So, uh, first you want to work on getting your head free. Actually, let me uh, first show you an easier one. Bridge and roll. When they have uh, this particular position, because their hip is far away from you, uh, they have good position on you. So you come and grab your hand to secure them and you're going to pull your elbow up and pull your, uh, pull your right elbow up and pull your left elbow down and in. Do you see how that starts the process of moving his butt closer to me? Next, I move my hip close to him. Now that I have my hip close to him, I can treat this just like a headlock escape. Bridge to 12 o'clock. Put that left shoulder on the ground and then take my left elbow and pull down. So, I need to get closer to him. So instead of just moving closer to him and letting him move away, I pull him closer to me and get my hip closer to him. And then I bridge and I do all three at the same time. One, two, and then raise my hips three. Two, three. Stop smiling. <laughs> Dang, make it look so easy. <laughs> so that's number one. When you have people that know you want to get your hips close to them and they keep their hips uh, away from you. With the gi, you take the hand from behind and you grab a hold of their uh, sleeve and you give a little pull. Then you move your hips away and your goal is to get the back of your head inside of their thumb. Then you put that on the ground. Then you move your head away and you push. And now you come and you grab, hang on to my arm please. And now you come and you grab. Will you get the choke here? More than likely not. But what you have here is you have uh, a number of things. How do you escape from here? Let's say you have somebody who decide, just decided they're not gonna move. You wanna pull and put your chin up. Put your arm behind me again, grab my head. You don't want to leave your head down like this and let them swim over and grab your head again. So you're going to pull and put your chin over top. Then you're going to move your hips away and pull your leg and sit up. So when I can't get my hip close to his, I reach behind me and grab a hold of the lapel and I'll use my uh, head as the fulcrum point and then my wrist. I just need an inch or two. Then I turn my head and put, my, put the back of my head down. Push across and to get that uh, choke, I'll do this. I shouldn't say choke, just to get some pressure on the neck. Because eventually what I'm gonna do, hang on please. Is I'm gonna remove my chest from his back. Keep your chest on my, keep your back on my chest. Here, he's got pretty good control. But when I put his back on the ground, he doesn't. Thank you. So those are two good uh, ways to escape scarfing.